Here we have a motherboard that came in for repair. The board looks something like this. This is a mini PC card that came in for a damaged SD reader. Customer wrote, damaged, pads, sad face. If we read the ticket, the customer wrote, I damaged the foil trace when replacing the SD card reader. I will send a new SD reader with the board if needed. Let's take a look at the board. It looks like the customer damaged something. Foil. I'm assuming the customer means pad. Yeah, I do see a prior repair attempt here. Signs of flux. And I do see where the damaged traces are. This one looks solid. We have damage here. We have damage here. Looks like we have two broken pads, no problem. And the nice thing about this customer is that he mailed over a replacement. Big plus. Thank you very much. You make our life a lot easier. So we are looking at what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have two legs here. So let's start by removing the card. We can remove the card by applying heat or we can apply low melt solder. Let's go ahead and do it the low melt solder way. That way, for those of you who are new to the channel, you can see how low melt solder works. And for those who have been watching for a while, you know what low melt solder is. It's magic. I just applied original Inventec Ampec Flux. Soldering station on. Fume extractor on. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can buy all your tools from our shop, including fume extractor, Low melt solder, original Ampec flux, soldering iron, hot air stations, thermal cameras, tweezers, braid wick, pliers. We stock everything. Just log into our site, northridgefix.com. Click on shop, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. If you have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. So I'm soaking all those pins with low melt solder. Low melt solder melts at a very low temperature. When mixed with unleaded, it will make your life a lot easier. Now we are dealing with a big connector. So I'm not going to be able to liquefy everything at once. We may have to use the help of hot air station. But it's going to take very little heat to remove that connector. Low melt solder usually stays liquefied for a few seconds. But by the time I apply heat all the way here, this one already hardened. So it's going to be hard to do it with just a soldering iron. Unless I lift from here. See? Done. The connector is out. I did not have to use hot air, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you that we can do it without using hot air, but that connector is big. On a big component like this, 
You may have to use hot air, but just a tiny bit of heat. For this case, I was able to do it with just a soldering iron and low melt solder. Done. We're gonna start by wicking off the pads. We're gonna clean all the pads using this amazing wick. Now let's see what happens if we put the antique little light. You see how we have a lot of reflections. We can barely see what's going on. But no need to fear, we have the Northwich Fix antique little light. And we're gonna turn it on. Magic. The board is dirty, so we need to clean it. So we can see what's going on. See, no more reflections. And we have Three missing pads, not two. Look at that board, nice. Now we're gonna grab the new SD connector. But before we do, we have to fix those traces, those pads. Back to the ring light. All right, so that's trace number one. We're gonna do trace number two, and then trace number three. We are almost done. Let me just trim this one. We're gonna use blue UV mask, our signature blue on green. Why not use green? Because I wanna use blue.
Very nice. Now we can apply flux all across the board. And we can go over the connector pin by pin. And we need more solder. Now the critical part is here, those three wires. We did an awesome job. We're gonna clean up, and we're gonna take a closer look at the pins, make sure everything is good. And we're gonna have to solder the two anchor points on the back. So this one here, no doubt, it's very solid, very solid, very solid very solid same here same here same here and this one is making a connection with the wire the wire is soldered onto the pin and that's what we want the wire is making a connection with the pin and that's what we want you can see the solder blob that's connecting the wire with the pin and same here the wire is moving along with the pin those pins are not anchored to the board so they're gonna move but as long as they are moving with the wire, then that's good. And now all we have to do is solder the back. And the job is done. And look at this better than factory joint. I'm using the Northridge Fix brush, anti-static brush, and 99% isopropyl. I always mention it, but we always have viewers ask. I mentioned flux in almost every video and we still have viewers ask what's that gooey stuff that you are using so bear with me if you've heard it like six million times just make it six million and one
All right, we are done. The connector looks something like this. And we did an amazing job. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.